So are the commanders real? Um, this is a question that a lot of people are kind of trying to figure out. Are, 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 are the commanders real? Of course, the Washington, Washington uh, uh, faithful um, are excited and happy about what's going on. And the answer to that question is yes and no. I'm going to tell you why yes, and I'm going to tell you why no, um, because we still have to figure out who this team is. Now, uh, they played the Cardinals team, a, a scrappy Cardinals team. Um, I thought that would uh, is going to fare decent in, in, in the league this year. Uh, the Cardinals are 1-3, and three, um, but looking at the Cardinals' schedules, they played the Bills, which I think overrated. Uh, they, they, played, they beat the Rams, I thought was a good win for them. They played the Lions, which are a tough team, um, and they played the Lions tough as well. Uh, but I, I don't think the Lions are that. I'll talk about them. Uh, but what, what you're seeing is pretty much the reason why they, the, the Cardinals got washed by the Commanders was you got Cliff Kingsbury, um, who was upset. And he knew exactly the ins and outs of that Arizona team. There's no way Arizona's winning that game. Uh, but um, I like Jalen Daniels. Uh, I think that they're putting him, posi- him in positions to be successful. Taking a huge load, which I think was a steal of the draft when Brian jo- Robinson Jr. went out. Well, Brian Robinson Jr., um, you know, this guy, 21 carries, one on one on the ground, but he's been consistently a, a work mule for the, the commanders. I mean, if you look at him, his, his year over year production, um, you know, last year, 700, uh, sorry, he got injured last year. Did he get injured last year? I'm not sure what happened last year. Last year. I think he got shot one year, but um, if you look at him, I think Brian Robinson Jr. is completely underutilized in this offense, uh, but he's capable. You know, last year he had 700 yards after being shot five touchdowns. Um, he almost had he had he had a, uh, pretty much a thousand yards, a thousand yards all purpose last year. He had nine touchdowns, definitely underutilized. Um, you know, so I, I think that Brian Robinson is going to continue to be bigger, bigger part of this offense. Um, but if you're looking at um, Brian Robinson, he, he his this year so far, um, one oh you know uh, he had 133 yards against the Giants. Um, last game against the Bengals, uh, fair right. We saw Jalen Downs pop up, and then Arizona Cardinals. Um, but the Commanders have a, have. Well, I mean, I, I say are the Commanders real? Real? I say yes. Here's why. You have a head coach. I think Dan, Dan Quinn, who's a good head coach. Um, has a history of, of winning. Um, then you have Cliff Kingsbury, offensive mind, played at Texas Tech. Um, I think I personally believe that Kyle Murray got him fired out there in Arizona. I think Kyle Murray is going to be the one that's going, that's going to go next. Um, he spent Dan Quinn spent five seasons in Atlanta. Of course, we know he went to the Super Bowl with them. Um, uh, and then you got Cliff Kingsbury, Kingsbury who's an offensive mind. I don't know what you, don't too, don't know too much about. Um, um, you know John Witt, but he was the passing defense secondary and pass name coordinator for the Cowboys the uh, past three season, three seasons. So I what I what does that mean? I, I think I see a lot of the the concepts of Washington players jumping routes, looking for the big, looking for the big turnover, um, big, you know making 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 big plays off of turnovers. I do see that a lot of that this year. So they have the coaching staff that's in play. Now what do they also have? They also have the receiving core. You have Terry McLaurin, Luke McCaffrey, uh, uh, Omelad Zacchaeus, who's a who's a, a veteran, a utility veteran receiver, and you also have a, a two-headed back in Jeremy Nichols and Brian Robinson Jr., who's carrying a load, and then a rookie quarterback who's who's making the right plays and decisions this this, this year. Um, so are the are the are the Washington Commanders real? Yes, I think they're real when it comes to the potential, but they haven't played anybody. They're one in three. Um, and we may get hyped, but their schedule is about to get. Um, here's why the command, the Commanders are winning the games they're supposed to win, right? Uh, you're supposed to beat the Giants. You're supposed to beat the Cardinals. Um, the Bengals. You're supposed to beat them. They're one and three. You're supposed to beat them. Um, but you got the Browns, the Ravens, the Panthers, Bears, Giants. So you got winnable games. I think the Washington Commanders finished like around eight and nine. Uh, and if you can win, but if you can win the games you're supposed to win, then now you're making you're making the NFC East more interesting. So the jury's still out. We're gonna see who really the the Bengals, I think the Eagle, the Commanders are after the Steelers game in on, on November 10th. We're gonna see that Steelers, that Steelers game is gonna see who the Commanders really are. Meaning, regardless of what their schedule is, regardless of what schedule is, if they beat the Steelers, that Steelers always are a tough team to beat. 
if they beat the Steelers, I think that will give us an indication of, okay, where are they training? Are they being a tough team, typically tough team, um, you know, midseason, um, uh, who always competes every year for the playoffs? That will be a good indicator of who the Washington Commanders are. Um, but right now, I said they have the nucleus to be successful, and we'll see how successful they actually are. 